Hello and welcome to Exide Tech's AutoCAD 2021 new features video. My name is Terry Dean, I'm one of the application specialists here at Exide Tech. I'll be informing you about five new features to be introduced within AutoCAD 2021. The first new feature to be focused upon will be the enhancements introduced to the trim and extend commands. The intention here is to make the workflow for these commands quicker. Within previous versions, when the requirement was to make all entities either a cutting or a boundary edge, return, enter or spacebar keys had to be pressed or right mouse button clicked at the first prompt. This is no longer the case. What we'll see is that by default, when I choose either the extend or the trim command, the cutting edges or the boundary edges have already been applied. So if I choose extend, you can see it's the same thing again. It's the same over here. I'll start with trim. Now I can still use the, the same selection methods as before, but there has been some new selection methods introduced. For example, we now have a two click fence. One, two, like so, as you can see. And uh, I'll load extend. Um, and I also have a freehand fence, which means that you can click and drag a bit like using the lasso tool. And, um, and if you find that hard to control, don't forget you still have the old fence available. So if I type in F and hit enter, I still have the old style fence uh, available too. If you also remember, you used to be able to use uh, a crossing window. So if I clicked and moved, I would be in crossing window. We can see that's no longer the default. But instead, down on the uh, command line options uh, brackets, you can choose crossing from there. So it's still there, or you can type in uh, C and hit return, of course, as well. Um, where you would maybe trim lines within a hatch pattern or cross a hatch pattern, in the past, it could be quite time consuming because if I was trimming this, intending to end up at the boundary, by default, AutoCAD would always trim to the nearest hatch line. Uh, that is no longer the case. So if I load trim now, the default is to actually only see the boundary. This, uh, unfortunately, has not been uh, carried across to extend and it still behaves in the same way. So it will extend to the nearest lines instead. Now, if none of these changes uh, meet your requirements or you're not happy with them, you can, of course, set the command back to the standard way of working simply by choosing mode down here. You can switch it from quick to standard. And also, if you do have a requirement to trim your lines to your actual hatch pattern lines, then there is a new system variable called trim edges, which can be set to zero, in fact off, which will make this achievable. Next, we will look at a long overdue enhancement to the rev cloud. How many times have you activated the rev cloud only to find the first thing you have to do is alter the arc length to make it appear readable? It's either too large or it's too small. Well, what should happen now? It's already set correctly. So on a drawing of this size, if I choose the rev cloud tool, we should find instantly that we can see that the arc lengths have been set to such a length that they are actually readable. So if I go to a much larger drawing area, a much larger drawing, as you can see by the sizes there, if I now choose rev cloud again, we should discover that the again, once again, the arc lengths have been set appropriately. Now in previous releases, the rev cloud was simply recognized as a polyline. And as such, it didn't have any settings in there that were rev cloud specific. But now it's actually seen as a rev cloud, not a polyline. And so if we look down here, we actually have an arc length setting, which would enable us to adjust that to an alternative setting. And you can see that is applied instantly. The next new feature is in fact a new command called break at point. It replaces the old styled method of doing this with the break command, which wasn't always reliable. The new command is much more reliable and accurate. So it exists in the same place. 
and but this time I can select an entity and much more reliably track along the length of this particular line typing in a distance that I require and if I double check that within the properties palette we can see that that's worked uh, perfectly. The other thing about this new command is it's repeatable so if I hit return it will instantly repeat that command which the the old style method wouldn't have done that. So if I track along here again 75 this time hit return once again double check that and there it is 75 and I can also do something which I'm pretty sure I couldn't do with the other method again reliably is I can track from the center of the line or the middle of the line and if I come across hit 50 there and again just check that that should be 150 which indeed it is. Um, I wasn't I wasn't always uh, confident in teaching this on my training courses owing to its unreliability and quirky way of not working as expected but uh, not any longer. Next we will look at a tool which is part of the measure geom command quick measure. It's not new but now has a new additional feature. I was very impressed with this tool when added to the previous release well now it's just got better. It now has the ability to very quickly display area and perimeter information. So this is what it did previously. It measures length, angles and radiuses. As you can see, very, very quickly. But if I single click, I've instantly got the area and perimeter information. Likewise over here, but it will subtract those islands from the calculation. And if I hold the shift key down and click in the other area, um, you can see it's added those two together. If I use the same key, I can actually remove one, so we're back to just the one area. Quick A. This next feature is something which can utilize the drawing history benefits of the following cloud storage providers, Dropbox, OneDrive and Box. When signed into your Autodesk account and a drawing file is open for the first time from the cloud storage area, a blue notification will appear, similar to what you see on the screen, uh, in the bottom right corner, indicating the previous versions of that drawing that can, can be compared when using the drawing history palette. This palette can be invoked manually from the view tab history panel, as you can see, and that will list any previous versions but it will also list the name of the person who's been working on that. So that can be quite useful. Um, so if I click on here, that will do a direct comparison with the, the, this drawing and the previous version, as you can see. Uh, so it's using the, the normal uh, DWG compare utility. And if I click on here, you'll see there's a, a slight change there as well. Um, so yeah, so just to remind you that uh, this facility at the moment is only compatible with uh, storage providers, cloud storage providers, Dropbox, OneDrive and Box. Well that concludes this AutoCAD 2021 new features video focusing upon most of the new enhancements. I hope you found it useful. Look out for our other videos of other 2021 products on our website. Thank you for watching.